Today we'll talk about Danica McKellar's best Hallmark Christmas movies. Let's head into it. Crown for Christmas Allie accepts a temporary position as the governess to an orphaned little girl who is a part of a wealthy European family that lives in a castle after being dismissed from her previous position as a maid at an upmarket New York City hotel. When Allie arrives, she discovers that the young lady's name is Princess Theodora and that her father is Maximilian, the King of Winshire. When the princess' mother died, the king informed Allie that she had a proclivity to frighten authority officials, a proclivity that has become worse since her mother's death. Nonetheless, the governess and the princess end up getting along, and a spark develops between Allie and Max at the same time. Countess Celia, on the other hand, is expected to marry the king. Will Max take a stance for his affections for Allie and ensure that everyone has a really joyous Christmas? A memorable statement from this film, he had me at sewing kit may well be the finest in any Hallmark movie history. Also make sure to write your thoughts in the comments section. My Christmas Dream Christina, the manager of McDougal's flagship department store, is keen to land the role of manager for the company's new Paris site when the opportunity arises. She aspires to please Victoria, the store's proprietor, by constructing the most impressive holiday display in the store's history. Christina turns to a recently dismissed shop employee who also happens to be a skilled artist and single father to his young boy when she runs out of ideas. Despite Victoria's assurances that she will find inspiration elsewhere, McKellar, Deidre Hall, and David Hayden Jones appear in this film. Coming home for Christmas You might want to change first. Why? What's, what's wrong with this? You really are a bunch of indoor people, aren't you? <laughs> When Lizzie Richfield accepts a position as a house manager at the prestigious Ashford Estate in the Virginia countryside, she finds herself at a crossroads in her life. Although the Marleys appear to be a family in name only, Lizzie prepares one more Christmas Eve party for them as part of the preparations for the house's sale. It is comprised of Kip Marley, who was never met at a party he didn't like, Robert, the attractive but all business administrator of the estate, Sloan, who comes with her two young children, and husband. And Pippa, the spitfire 80-year-old matriarch who doesn't want the mansion put up for sale at all. Despite the fact that Kip is pursuing her, Lizzie finds herself pulled to Robert as she becomes more and more integrated into the Marley family's house and lives. Can she negotiate her unexpectedly convoluted love life while also assisting in the reconciliation of family feuds and perhaps educate everyone about the genuine spirit of Christmas? Christmas at Grand Valley and there's another thing I was trying hard not to do. What's that? Kiss you. Kelly, a Chicago-based artist who has grown tired of the hustle and bustle of the Chicago gallery scene, goes home to the scenic Grand Valley just in time for Christmas. Perhaps the glistening season in her beloved town will rekindle her passion for art and point her in the direction of her next step. Leo, a successful businessman and devoted father to his children, is struggling to maintain a work-life balance during the holiday season when he is assigned to evaluate the worth of a hotel in Grand Valley. He views this as the ideal change to take his family on a Christmas holiday. Kelly and Leo's worlds are about to clash before they know it, in reliving her favorite Grand Valley rituals with Leo and his children. Kelly begins to rekindle her artistic love and discovers her way back where she belongs. Danica McKellar and Brennan Elliott star in this film. Christmas at Dollywood First you like an idea of mine and now a compliment? I don't even know what to do with all this positive reinforcement. Uh, I like to see Mr. Corbett letting go. Once again, an event planner is called to Tennessee to help with a Christmas celebration at Dollywood, where she is partnered with the head of operations who is confidently in his ability to organize the party on his own. Danica McKellar and Niall Matter star in this film. Christmas She Wrote And you need to let me read it. Well, think about it. Yeah. If you can catch me. Oh, really? Oh, it's gonna be like that, is it? I'm coming! McKellar stars as a journalist who had her weekly column canceled shortly before Christmas in this holiday romance. She goes home for Christmas, just like any other missing main character would. Once she arrives, she's surprised by a surprise visit from the man who had canceled her column. You, Me, and the Christmas Trees you, Me, and the Christmas Trees was the first film in this year's Countdown to Christmas program, which was released by Hallmark. 
certainly is a type of warm and fuzzy holiday rom-com that lovers of this great Christmas tradition are familiar with and enjoy. But is it worth viewing right away? Or should you wait to catch half of it on a Saturday night broadcast? Before this year's Lacey Chabert film. Start with a film that has all the fluff you want from a typical Hallmark movie, but with a few modern features that make it feel fresh. The rest of the 2021 offerings follow like. The backdrop for this video is Avon, Connecticut, which is a genuine place, and the interiors are beautifully decorated in a warm, traditional Christmas style. When it comes to holidays, the town has a type of jam-packed calendar that we've come to anticipate from all these flicks. Is it really necessary for Avon to have a last-minute Christmas craft show every year? Is it necessary for the cocktail competition to be held as a separate annual event? Yes and yes again. Even an adorable scene when Jack unintentionally rear-ends Olivia as they are both on their way to meet each other is included. The source of love is a love tap that leads to love and sap. What do you think about these Christmas movies? Which one is the best one? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.